Yeah, this um, this is actually my first electric bass, and it's had many many <laughs> changes. When I first got it, it was uh, it was Sunburst, and you know it was before you know I was aware of all the no nos of, you know, of owning vintage instruments. But but uh, uh, this was a '66 uh, body. It was a '71 neck, and it was originally a um, uh, you know, just a maple neck, and uh, I had it. Uh, I remember I took it to another place in in uh, in Champaign, um, First National Guitar Store with with Skip Paul, and uh, I uh, was getting really interested. I was playing a lot of jazz, and uh, had the frets pulled out, and and they weren't they they pulled them out, but they weren't that happy with what they did, so they didn't end up charging charging me so i had this kind of this uh um uh you know maple neck with with a lot of little divots in it but it was it was okay as a as a fretless instrument and then eventually our buddy john gray <laughs> uh ended up putting this very thick, uh thick slab of uh, rosewood on here and uh you know, which, which makes actually i don't know if you well you can see but it makes the neck pretty thick you know, again, being kind of more familiar to playing upright bass. And, um, you know, it, it was, uh, uh, you know, I did some stupid stuff and I stripped all the finish off and then uh, it, I put some kind of weird, it was almost kind of green looking and, and then just ended up putting black, I think it may even be spray paint <laughs> at this <laughs> point, but it, it still sounds pretty good. Um, and, uh, you know, I did another 80s or 70s treatment with the with the fathead uh, brass plate for additional sustain mainly what it does is it makes it you know, a little neck heavy but it, I think it helps a little bit but yeah but this was my first first electric bass 